Hopedale, Ohio, a small town with just over 900 residents in it. But one former resident rocked the nation with a story of hope and determination after a failed murder-suicide attempt in September of 2007 led to a breakthrough in medicine. Connie Culp's story is one of those stories that I will hold for a lifetime. Uh, again, it was a story of inspiration. It was a story of um, achievement, overcoming the impossible. And she is one of those people uh, that I will never forget interviewing. It started out as a shooting, but was later found that Hopedale resident Connie Culp had been shot by her husband. Then he shot himself. In a shocking turn of events, they both survived. And at that time, nobody had expected Connie to survive, uh, given the seriousness uh, of, of, you know, the shooting and the fact that she literally had, you know, her, her face blown off as it was reported at that time. Then a miracle happened. You know, I can remember uh, when Connie uh, made that, that, that appearance uh, at the Cleveland Clinic. And she came out uh, with, with this, you know, brand new face. A face that was not hers, but someone who had recently died. Everybody wanted to know how she was feeling, what it was like, what it was like to walk around with, you know, someone else's face. I mean, it was groundbreaking. After 22 hours on the operating table, Connie became the top news story from WTRF to Oprah, becoming an inspiration to everyone who heard her story. The one thing that I remember most about Connie Culp was how inspirational she was. And I could remember thinking if I had had my face blown off by a gun, A, I don't know that I could forgive the person, and B, I don't even know that I could be happy about life. And Connie managed to do all of those things. Connie Culp died Thursday evening, being remembered as a source of hope for the world. Connie Culp should be an inspiration for all of us, especially at a time like we're all going through right now. We're worried about wearing masks on our face. Connie was worried about even having a face. So when you really stop and think about that, I think it speaks for itself. Connie's facial structure was made up with less than 30% of her own face. A team at Cleveland Clinic created her face out of bones, skin, tissue, arteries, and veins, creating around 77 square inches of transplanted tissue. The cause of Connie's death has not yet been released, but at 57 years old, she is the longest living facial transplant patient in the U.S. Reporting for WTRF, I'm Shelby Davis, working for you.